Well, Bob, you did it! Yep, I did it. Why so nervous? I'm just... I'm starting to remember... why I got rid of those seeds. I warned you, and I warned you, but did you listen? No! But don't worry, I'm here to protect you. Again. Hey, what are you doing to him? Leave him alone! I'm protecting him. <laughs> protecting him? From what? You're about to find out. Seeds were bad news. Oh, now you've gone and put him into a bad mood again. I don't think I'm hurting at all. You make it so hard for me to do my job. Everything was so nice here before I'm ready you. To go now. Hey, knock that off! If you really care about him, anyway. you'll stop doing that. You think you're his friend? But I'm his only friend. Let's just call it a draw and stop. I it. think I need to you figure out You make it so hard for me to do my job. Everything was so nice here before you were... Hey, uh, maybe hey, this not that a good idea. Almost had it. I just need to focus <laughs> Almost <laughs> Almost had it. I just want to use clairvoyance on this bad mood, but it looks immune to it. Is it uh, too late to put those seeds back? Hey, uh, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Almost had it. If I can find the cause of this bad mood, maybe I can get rid of it. On anyway. I'm ready to go now. I don't think gardening is supposed to hurt this much. It doesn't need to hurt at all. Doesn't need to hurt you, I mean. <laughs> Barbara! Oh, that hurt! Toad! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
told you! Ah, that won't! You'll pay for that! so bad at gardening yourself. Think you can handle them now? Willing to give it a try. How about those? Well, I'll just take them one at a time. Yep, all the bottles in the blue bin. Bottle caps, too. Hey, that too. We're recycling plastic now. Can you believe it? So, uh, Agent Sonato, think you could help me with a little... yard work? Wow, what a mess. Yeah. I mean, it's impressive as far as strength and mass, but in terms of aesthetics, it's all over the place. You talking about the vines, or that beard? Who's this? Helmet! So this is where you ran off to. Figures. What? It's me, Bobby. It's your psyching. But... how? Where's your body? I was lost for a long time. Until this one found me. Body's on loan from the mailroom. Hang on. Borrowed lips. Wouldn't be right. Yeah. And he's not as cute as you either. Well, neither are you right now. Come on, let's at least wash that beard. What's that smell? Mushrooms? You know I hate mushrooms. I know. Okay, I have a feeling I'm about to get into some heavy business. Am I sure I'm ready for this? I'm ready for whatever might happen.
took you long enough. It still works. Of course it still works. Otto over-engineers everything. Crawler, I, I think that's the nicest thing you've ever said about me. Otto, you're looking well fed. Ford, you sound like your old self. Well, some things are clear to me now that weren't before. But come on, there's a lot to be done. Is it really you? Cassie! Compton! And Bob. I'm... I'm... I'm happy to see all of you again. What's Nick from the mailroom doing here? That's actually Helmet Fulbear's brain in Nick's body. <gasps> I do love making a grand entrance. Sounds like Full Bear. He's in there, all right. But where have you been? Uh, you don't want to know that. I've missed you so much, Big Bear. I never thought I'd see everybody together again. Well, almost everybody. Hey, I remember this place. We used to sneak in here and fool around on the bean bags, remember? Lucy. Everybody ready? Now, this hunk of junk was made by Otto Mentalis. So, uh, there's no telling what might happen. Oh, what can I say? I was underfunded back then. But if everything goes well, we might be able to have our dear friend Lucretia back in the circle. For good. Now, you ready? Kind of. <laughs> Me too, kid. mental construct are made for Lucy, to convince her that she was your grandmother and that she lived with you. Come on, it's time to get her out of here. Ew! What did you step in? I don't know, it looks like a puddle of goo. With a mask of me in it. Have you even seen my brother? He was just standing here a second ago. Ah, uh, here he is. Oh, well, 
Come on, Raz. It's showtime. You better play along with this, Raz. We don't want to upset the construct until we have control of the situation. I'll work on Nona. Former Queepy Aquato in front of the carousel of chaos. Watch him lift a horse and your spirit. <laughs> it should be illegal for children to work in the circus because they're just so cute. They steal the show. Come watch Queepy Aquato perform feats of strength in the carousel area. See what I mean. I'm supposed to be doing my weightlifting. Oh, 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 oh. The children are safe. No, I will show you my little secret. Come with me to the high dive. Thank you. 
Nona, what are you doing? Getting out of here, and you're coming with me. Nona! Oh, no. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> Suitcase tag. Gotcha. Ford, our circus didn't have a quilting area. I didn't make this. I created that two-bit flea circus to make Lucy forget who she was. But it looks like she escaped. Come on, Crowley, stinky dam is over this way. What? Wow. Guess you learn a thing or two when you live with fleas. Here's the steamer trunk tag. What's this? It's Lucy and your father. Oh, this must be one of the first real memories she formed after the astrolabe procedure. Your father was put into an orphanage after his parents were drowned. I locked Maligula away, deep in Lucy's mind to make Lucy herself again. But then I got your father out of that orphanage, buried some of his more uh, traumatic memories, and brought him to her. Why? Well, they were both all alone in the world. The only family the other had left. My sweet little Gussie. Let's keep moving. Wait, wait! This would be a sweet picture if I didn't know everybody was under some sort of astrolathe hypnosis. I never used the astrolathe on the rest of the family. These are real memories Lucy made for herself after I was gone from her life. Good family, excellent balance, very flexible. Not afraid of heights. Not like you. Hey, Crowley. Lucy, please! <laughs> the one who 
who gave me the pamphlet to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp? You're the reason I became a Psychonaut? Well, it is either you or Frazy, but you were such a nerd with those comic books. Hey, True Psychic Tales is a graphic nonfiction periodical. Some part of you knew you were living a lie. You sensed Raz's power. You thought he could help you. Oh, I don't know, Crowley. I get so confused sometimes. Usually I was happy, just so intense and stretching the children, telling them to stay away from the water. Then I feel oh, so sad. And just when I was about to figure it out, everything would start to unravel. How much I hate this place. This is it. This is where I locked up Maligula. Behind that dam. We need to unlock it and draw Maligula out into the open. Then we'll combine our powers and direct the astrolabe to blast open a pit into the deepest part of her mind. Why don't we just, you know, blast Maligula? Maligula is a part of Lucy's mind. A primitive part that may have helped her early ancestors survive. We all have our own Maligula, Rasputin. We just know how to keep it locked up down below. If you can secure the area while I keep Lucy calm, then we should be able to unlock this dam together. Causing this bad mood. Go back to my bunk, family. Nah, nah, it's all right, Lucy. Great job, Rez. Now, open that locket, and we'll use the astrolabe to blast it. What's that sound? 
I need the purse tag here. I think I hear something. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. I think I hear some emotional baggage now. Focus the astrolathe, Rasputin. Quickly! I think we made many mistakes. But now, we're gonna face them. I couldn't before. I was young, scared, and alone. But now, I'm only one of those things. Oh, he's grown. Let's hope the astrolathe can make a deep enough pit. Don't worry for it. I'll be right here beside you! Ah! 